The door handles on your Ionic are designed to fit flush against the door when not in use. This is to reduce aerodynamic drag and increase efficiency. To open the vehicle doors, first unlock the vehicle by either pressing the door unlock button on the smart key or by pressing the lock unlock button on the door handle. The handles will pop out. You can then pull the handle to open the door. Some models have an approach unlock feature. When enabled, this feature will cause the door handles to slide out automatically and the doors to unlock when you approach within three feet of the front driver or passenger door. If the door is not opened within 30 seconds, the doors will automatically lock and the handles will slide in. The two press unlock feature can be customized to determine which doors unlock when using the smart key or handle unlock feature or when using the approach unlock feature. If the vehicle battery is drained and the electronic locking feature is not working, you can still unlock the vehicle. The charger door and port on your Ionic have several unique features and settings to help make charging easier. You can open the charger door in one of three ways. When the vehicle is unlocked, touch and push the indicator area. You can also press the charger door open close button on the remote. Or you can use voice recognition to open the door from inside the vehicle. Open charging port door. Opening the charging port door. Closing the door manually can be done by pressing the close button inside the charger port area. The charger door will automatically close when the charging connector is disconnected. The charger door has been opened but no charging activity has taken place for a period of time or the gear selector is placed in drive, reverse or neutral. If the charger door will not open due to 12 volt battery discharge, you can open it manually. Open the lift gate then remove the emergency release cable cover on the right side of the cargo area. Pull the emergency release cable gently to release the charger door. Your Ionic offers multiple charging options that you can use, each with its own charging speed. Level 1 is often called portable charge. It uses normal household electrical current. It's also the slowest charging solution. Level 2, or AC charging, is approximately twice as fast as level 1. This charging solution requires a 240 volt charger, which is typical of charging units installed in your home and is also what the majority of public charging stations use. Level 3, or DC fast charging, is the quickest solution. It charges using up to 350 kilowatts of power enabling an EV to be 80% recharged in as little as 20 minutes. Your Ionic can use Level 1 and Level 2 charging stations that have what's commonly called a J-plug. Level 3 charging on your Ionic requires a combo connector. Not every Level 2 or Level 3 station will have the correct plug for your vehicle. Be sure to check available connectors when searching for a charging station. The charger port area itself has charging status lamps. As the battery state of charge increases, the lamps will illuminate as follows. 0 to 24%, 25 to 49%, 50 to 74%, 75 to 100%. If there is an issue with the connector or the charging, then all four rows of lights will flash. Once the charging connector is attached, you can select when the connector is locked and unlocked. This can be helpful at public chargers allowing other vehicles to be charged once your vehicle charging has completed. The available relaxation comfort seat on your Ionic is designed to provide a zero gravity chair experience. To activate it, press the right side of the comfort seat switch for one second. A notification will appear on the touch screen, then press the switch again within five seconds. The seat cushion, seat back angle, and leg support will automatically adjust to an optimum setting for napping or reading. To return to the normal seating position, press the left side of the comfort seat switch. The seat will then return to the original position. There are several prerequisites for using the comfort seat. It cannot be used when the vehicle is not in park, and it cannot be used when the rear seat belts are fastened. In addition, 
Make sure there are no items in the rear seat area when using the relaxation seat. Finally, ensure that the rear seats are in their rearmost position and upright before using the relaxation seat. The Ionics available head-up display projects information onto the windshield. This helps the driver keep their eyes safely on the road while driving. The head-up display has two different display modes. Augmented Reality, or AR mode, will show dynamic directions on the field of vision, informing you with moving images when to make turns. This will only operate when the vehicle's built-in navigation is being used. Standard Display Mode arranges information in a more traditional manner, while still allowing the driver to keep their eyes safely on the road. You can switch between these modes, or turn the head-up display off in the touchscreen. The center console on your Ionic has multiple storage and convenience features. Vehicles equipped with the sliding console feature can move the console rearward. This can be handy if the driver needs to enter the vehicle from the passenger side because another vehicle has parked too close to the driver's door. To slide the console, press the handle and then move the console to the desired position until it clicks into place. Storage areas are located inside the armrest as well as underneath the armrest. Four USB ports are located in the console. Two are provided in front for front passengers, while two more are located in the rear. The available Qi wireless smartphone charging pad is also located in the console area. Your Ionic has selectable drive modes to allow you to change the vehicle driving characteristics to suit your needs. The drive mode button on the steering wheel allows you to change modes. Simply press the button and the modes will change. There are three drive modes that are designed for everyday use. Eco mode is designed to improve efficiency. When this mode is selected, the eco indicator on the instrument cluster will illuminate and the color of the cluster will change. Eco mode may reduce accelerator response under moderate acceleration and also affect air conditioner performance. This is normal and they are part of the steps taken to improve efficiency. Select normal mode for everyday driving. In this mode, all areas of vehicle performance will function regularly. Sport mode improves driving performance but may decrease energy efficiency. When this mode is selected, the sport indicator on the instrument cluster will illuminate and the color of the cluster will change. Finally, there is a fourth drive mode, snow, that can be used to help with safe driving on snowy roads. This mode is selected by pressing and holding the drive mode button. When this mode is selected, the snow indicator on the instrument cluster will illuminate. Note that if you turn the vehicle off when in sport or snow mode, the vehicle will revert to normal mode the next time you start it. The Forward Collision Avoidance Assist with Pedestrian Detection System on your Ionic or FCA is designed to help detect and monitor vehicles, bicycles, and pedestrians ahead. If a collision is imminent, it's designed to warn the driver and apply emergency braking. This braking is to help minimize a collision, and the driver still needs to apply the brakes themselves. If you select warning only, the system alerts you but does not apply the brakes. That is your responsibility. If you select off, the system is deactivated. You'll notice that the FCA warning light in the instrument cluster is illuminated. If the SCA system detects a collision risk is high, it will provide the forward collision warning. It sounds an alarm, flashes a visual alert, and vibrates the steering wheel. The vehicle may decelerate moderately on its own during this alert, but it will not apply maximum braking if you have selected warning only. You must apply the brakes directly. If the system detects a collision is imminent and active assist has been selected, the emergency braking warning message may appear. The vehicle may apply brakes, with the brake control maximized just before the collision to minimize the impact. You can also turn the forward cross-traffic safety feature on and off. When turned on, it can provide a warning and emergency braking if the vehicle detects a risk of a collision from a vehicle on the left or right side at an intersection. 
FCA functions only operate at certain speeds. See your owner's manual for details. The Highway Driving Assist 2 system available on your Ionic is designed to detect vehicles and lanes ahead. It can help maintain distance from the vehicle ahead, maintain the set speed, and help center the vehicle in the lane while driving on the highway. While driving while using Smart Cruise Control, the icon in the instrument cluster will change to the gray HDA icon. This lets you know that the system is in the standby state. Highway Driving Assist will only operate when Smart Cruise Control is operating, Lane Following Assist is operating, and the vehicle is driving on a road that's part of the interstate highway system. If all conditions are satisfied, the HDA indicator will turn green to show it's operating. If you take your hands off the steering wheel for several seconds while the Highway Driving Assist system is activated, the system will warn you with the message, Keep Hands on Steering Wheel. If you continue to drive with your hands off the steering wheel, the message will appear again along with an audible warning. After the second message, if you still do not have your hands on the steering wheel, a new warning message will appear. At this time, the system will be automatically canceled. If you're driving on a very straight road for a long period of time with little input on the steering wheel, the system may alert you as well. If so, try to add slight steering inputs when possible. Highway Driving Assist may not fully function in certain bad weather or road conditions. The regenerative braking system on your Ionic recoups and stores energy when the vehicle is decelerating. The regenerative braking system can also be used to bring the vehicle to a complete stop using two unique features. The first is called One Pedal Driving. With it, you can stop the vehicle with the left side paddle shifter. It can be used in normal braking mode or when the vehicle is in smart recuperation mode. To operate it, pull and hold the left side paddle shifter while coasting. The vehicle will begin braking and slow down. If the paddle is held down to a speed below two miles per hour, it will continue to come to a stop. If the paddle is released above 2 miles per hour, the vehicle will return to its previous regenerative braking setting. The second feature is called iPedal. To engage it, set the regenerative braking system to level 3. Then, pull the left paddle once again. The iPedal indicator will illuminate on the instrument cluster to show that it is active. When active, simply releasing the accelerator pedal will activate the brakes. The vehicle will slow to a complete stop unless the accelerator is depressed. Note that both features should only be used when road conditions are ideal. Do not use them when road conditions are bad, such as when wet, icy, or covered in snow. Your Ionic uses a regenerative braking system to recuperate and store energy when the vehicle is decelerating. The system can be customized to suit your driving style, with four different levels of regenerative braking available. The two paddles on the steering wheel are used to adjust between the four levels. Pulling and releasing the left paddle will increase the regenerative level by one each time you pull and release it. Doing the same on the right paddle will decrease the regenerative level. You can see the current regenerative level on the instrument cluster. Your Ionic also features a smart recuperation system when activated, it will control the regenerative braking automatically according to the road grade and any vehicle in front of you. To turn it on or off, pull and hold the right paddle shifter for more than one second. You will see the Auto Regenerative Braking Indicator. The system will operate at speeds above 6 miles per hour when the road grade changes or when the distance to vehicles ahead changes. You can also adjust the braking level of Smart Recuperation in the Eco Vehicle menu. Note that Smart Recuperation will automatically cancel when the vehicle is shifted to Neutral, Reverse, or Park, the ESC system is operating, or the Cruise Control system is activated.
The Driver Attention Warning System on your Ionic incorporates two helpful systems, inattentive driving warning and leading vehicle departure. Inattentive driving warning displays the measured fatigue level of the driver, as well as provides notifications of inactive driving practices. Leading vehicle departure warning uses the front view camera to detect front vehicle departure and inform the driver. Once the driver attention warning system is activated, you can display information and alerts related to it on the LCD display. Select the Assist Mode tab on the LCD display. The display will show the attention level as well as last break time. The attention level is displayed on a scale of 1 to 5. The lower the level, the more inattentive the driver is being. The level will decrease when the driver does not take a break for a certain amount of time or drives inattentively. The level increases when the driver attentively drives for a certain amount of time. If the attention level drops below 1, the Consider Taking a Break message appears on the cluster LCD and a warning will sound. This is to suggest the driver take a break. The driver attention warning system automatically resets the brake timer when the engine is turned off. The driver unfastens the seat belt and opens the door, or the vehicle is stopped for more than 10 minutes. The driver attention level is reset to 5 as well. When leading vehicle departure warning is active and the lead vehicle departs, the system will inform the driver by displaying a message and sounding an audible warning. You should know that leading vehicle departure alert may not work properly in all situations. Some of these include when a vehicle cuts in front of you, when the vehicle ahead of you departs abruptly, when a pedestrian or bicycle moves between you and the vehicle ahead, or when at a tollway with many other vehicles and lanes merging or dividing. Based on Hyundai's new eGMP platform dedicated for electric vehicles, the IONIQ 5 manages to pack a lot of space into this minimalist exterior. For storage, you have the flexibility of both a traditional trunk and a frunk here under the hood. With a capacity of 57 liters, it is an excellent place to store your charging cable. This leaves you with the full use of the spacious trunk, which opens hands-free with the smart key. With a storage capacity of 527 liters, expanding to 1,587 with the rear seats down, you won't find yourself struggling for space, even with a larger family. And for those looking to move something a little larger, the IONIQ 5 has a towing capacity of 1,600 kg, which is exceptionally high for an electronic vehicle. The IONIQ 5 takes full advantage of the increased flexibility offered by the dedicated eGMP platform, providing a variety of practical, roomy storage options to fit with your lifestyle.